Welcome back to Batman the Telltale series, The Enemy Within. Click to begin. Here we go. Okay. So, when we last left our intrepid hero, The Batman, Hey, look, kids! Comics! <laughs> um, I had basically successfully pissed off pretty much everybody that I didn't want to piss off. Pissed off? Piss, piss off? And, um, and was apparently really in good and friendly with the people that I did want to piss off. So, way to go, me! We're doing great so far. But somehow, through all the mess, we managed to defeat the Riddler. And only at the cost of uh, a woman's hearing. So, it's terrible. Alright, so, episode two, The Pact. Let's do this. Now, of course, uh, I should mention also, this is a marathon, so we're playing the entire game in one go here, just splitting up between episodes. And, um, as usual, the regular marathon rules apply, so if you'd like, uh, like me to continue playing stuff over the course, uh, like after this game is done, um, it's basically a $50 donation for each additional hour that you would like me to carry on. So, so far, we had Major Matoko chip in for one more hour, so we'll be going at least another hour, and, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, here we go. Episode 2. The Pact. What? No, we're not starting episode... What? Wait a minute. Where are we going? I was... I had highlighted episode two, I swear. Okay. Start episode two. Here we go. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Choose wisely. Do not choose poorly. <clears throat> Gotham City. A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. Yes. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has <coughs> ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line, and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And since you've been doing right by me, I'll continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but... I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. Convince Gordon of that, and things will go smoothly. Fine, I'll extend an olive branch if that's what it takes to make you happy. Yeah. Gordon's a stubborn old mule. <clears throat> I haven't shown the height of diplomacy myself. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. 
They might want revenge, or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Uh-huh. Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Things are exploding. Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. <laughs> then go already. On my way. Just gonna fire my grappling Let's gun move, into the Peter. sky. This is what we trained for. Get your ride on a blimp. In I'll be there in on the west side is under two speed. hours. <laughs> huh. Similar to the warehouse we were in in the first one. Okay. So a few well-placed batarangs to the face. Got it. What? What more do you want with me? Hey, shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness, and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. If we'll keep running your mouth, maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. We did both. Maybe we should disarm him How first. many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. <clears throat> it's okay. Really big one. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right. I'll make it one more round. Hurry it up. see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Hmm. Riddler is dead. He's dead? Riddler? 
You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. <laughs> oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. And there... <laughs> Oh no! Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is not good. You might want to turn around. pain you're feeling, Batman. Telling you you're still alive. Shit. That's not good. Knows this city better than anyone. The GCPD should be able to quickly find the stolen weapons, and Waller will feel disrespect for superseding her authority. Waller's people are well trained and equipped to deal with Bane's men and safely recover the weapons. But Gordon is bound and field and betrayed if I cut him out of the loop. God damn it! Ugh. Coin time. All right. Well, heads it's Gordon, tails it's Waller. Here we go. Heads. All right, guess we're calling Gordon. Click to call. There. Batman? Batman, what's wrong? Why don't you like this one, Skinslip? He's not that far removed from the comic book appearance. I mean, he still looks like a lucha. <laughs> I like Batman. his badass mustache. <laughs> Batman! 
Say something if you can hear me. Gordon Christ. Batman. <clears throat> Come on, help me. It won't move. Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! There we go. Jesus <laughs> Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. The entire GCPD arsenal raided? Every single armored personnel carrier stolen? With those and the hardware they stole? Christ! I don't want to think about it. I just want to know who these sons of bitches are! There's only one of them that matters. He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs. Said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. They need to be found. I'm already taking orders from Waller. I gotta take it from you, too? So that's how it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. The city will be in danger if you don't. I'll uh, see what I can do. Put whatever manpower we can spare on the search for those armored vehicles. In the field and watching CCTV feeds. Yes, sir. <clears throat> you know, I'm still mad as hell at you. What for? <laughs> Beating that Riddler goon half to death. I didn't. I only agreed to work with you because I thought you were a man of principle. <laughs> Someone who wanted to step out of the shadows and into the light. I don't know what's going on with you and Waller, but you've changed. It's like I don't even know who you are anymore. Waller, she has something on me. Jesus, Batman, what? No, wait. Tell me later. I've already got enough to worry about. Mm. I'm glad you called me with this. Good to know this partnership still means something. Of course. But I won't lie. We've still got a ways to go. Alright. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? I, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler. Not you. That's nice of you to say. Yeah. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. Mm. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. Mm. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. All right. 
Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. Just gonna limp back to the cave. <laughs> Episode 12. The Pact. Not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? <laughs> Probably. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Mm -hmm. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Yes. Analyze things. I'm good, thanks. Oh. Hey, we got the Riddler's cane. You notice that? Analyzing. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. Good. What kind of toxin? Something new. Check it out. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Oh. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, review the events of the crime wave that shook Gotham. So there was Goth Corpse Lab. Goth Corp Labs. Goth Corp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. Uh-huh. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. Others were frozen solid. Well, we know who that's gonna some be. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Mm. Yeah, we know who that's gonna be. Mystery suspect. Okay. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, a big hammer. That's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. 
Mm. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Mm. Wow. Look at the media feed. Uh-huh. Enterprise's stock, yeah. What is the agency? Uh-huh. Cobble plots a model prisoner. Oh, here, hold on. Here we are. I described Slain Wayne employee as a hero. Opinion. I was wrong about Batman. Hmm. Bizarre Riddler launches terrorist attack at Gotham Casino. Investigation into Wayne Tower explosion continues. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate we can't sort of look at this stuff as it's added. We can only do that when he's sitting at the bat computer. Because otherwise all these articles kind of pile up. Codex. God, how many things are there here? Okay. In his garden, after I went behind his back, blah, 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 blah. That's why I didn't appreciate me going behind Gordon's back. That. That. Lucius is gone. Uh, John Doe. Actually, the question is, so I told her the truth. I owed her an honest explanation, but in this case, honesty was not the best policy. She blew up on me, threatening to dig deeper into what we was doing. Maybe I should get in front of that. Yes, please, for love of fuck, go and talk to Tiffany. Like, Okay. Amanda Waller. Da da da. Bernie Blake. Da 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 da. By Naval. Da, da, da. Riddler. Broken pact. Who are they? Why do they want him dead? Huh? Rumi Mori. Okay. Agency. Work with the agency now. Yeah. Swain. Arthur Wayne. Gotham City. New class of criminals. This conversion of Gotham. Okay. Uh huh. Arkham Asylum, yeah. Wayne Enterprises, there's homing missile, there's Lucius, uh huh. Crime Alley, yeah. Bridges Hideout, Van Water Tower, Gotham's East End. Okay. Let's see if it's at. Political Clout. Right. Is that everything? That is everything. Okay. Guns, money, biotech. <clears throat> Are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. 
We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Mm. Taking on all of them, that would be suicide in your current condition. Mm. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. Tiffany. One thing's for sure. Dr. Tiffany. We can't just wait around Dr. for Bane Tiffany. to strike again. Tiffany? How about Tiffany? The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Yeah, she should be Bruce and Riddler go talk said to Tiffany. his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. Okay. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. Mm. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of the Cards! Because <laughs> the Joker, well, right? Well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Hmm. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. <laughs> so that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. John, I'd like to take you up on your offer. Excellent news! Just the place, the stack deck. The stack deck. That's where he is. Okay. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Eleven hmm. thirty eight AM. Batman. I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, it's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Uh, okay. <laughs> it feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. <laughs> You're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm going to ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. <laughs> Nonsense. <coughs> Bruce. Uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottles under my chair, Willie. Let the clown lead you to Bane. Whatever it takes. Huh. Who left that there, I wonder? I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. <laughs> These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. <laughs> so, that rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Hmm. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am the I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? Yes. After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. 
Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. <laughs> Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Hmm. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably <laughs> annoying. <laughs> I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I okay. pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey. <laughs> Ow. I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you... Screw you! Oh, shit. Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Not even you, John! Easy, Willie. I can give you money if you just leave John alone. A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Well, God, I was getting him a drink. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. You're welcome. <laughs> Money buys everything. Let's get out of here. <laughs> This John guy seems really nice. I like him. He's very friendly and personable. I can tell he means well. Oh, cool! They're expecting you. Hmm. Uh, Br Bruce, um... Wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. Uh -huh. It's it's an odd feeling. At first, I I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no. I think it's love. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. <laughs> So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Oh, be your wingman? Come on. Okay. We shouldn't keep her <laughs> waiting. What? Oh. <laughs> Almost got it. God damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come hmm. on, come on. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, <laughs> I mean, wow. Oh, hello. Around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. 
give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. Mm. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Trust me, you don't want to do that. The mess will be awful. Maybe I like mess. No, no, dude. Brains are like red wine. A stain never comes out, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> Since when did you ever scrub a damn thing? I'm <laughs> just joshing you, rich boy. <laughs> See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? Yeah. I knew you guys would hit it off. Oh, trust me, I'm laughing my ass off. On the inside. Oh, come on, Bruce. <laughs> Harley, just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Ah. Oh, Wouldn't you ouch. say you're chomping at the bit to meet us? I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. <laughs> excitement? The <laughs> man who's got everything's looking for some new toys. <laughs> you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He played him like a Stradivarius. <laughs> Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. Mm. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. Mm -hmm. Oh, he interesting. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? Oh. It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. Mm. He has his uses. After all, he connected me to you. So, you're a puppet master, huh? Poor old Puds, your marionettes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you and me are more alike than I thought. Aha! She liked that answer. <clears throat> you got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. Hmm. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Because I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Hmm. Don't matter. Hmm. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Hmm. Gee, thanks, Pud. <laughs> gotta go. Interesting. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how he used you, Pud. Just to get to me. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? I was just kidding around. I didn't mean anything I said. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta stand by your words or you ain't nothing at all. Wow. She is uh, manipulative. You used me. Because that's the kind of ruthless guy you are. <laughs> oh. The best damn slushy ever. Hmm. Suck 
Work on that. <laughs> I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'm a pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. <laughs> Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. Mm. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Mm. Get it for me? I know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? <clears throat> you better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's face. okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do what Whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I asked sure. for? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Hmm. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present. Wow, she is just playing everybody. <laughs> You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that failing ski. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. See, I didn't want to suck on the Slurpee on the off chance it was like poison lipstick or something. I know that's more of a poison ivy thing, but I don't trust her, like, at all. <laughs> so. <laughs> also, I mean, we don't want John being all jealous, even though she's obviously trying to make him jealous. Uh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. Good. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Is everything okay? Well, no rest for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. <laughs> You're all set, sir. Yep. Good. So now there's a record of my being here uh, on the same night that the phalanx key disappears. And, uh, perfect. You're leaving a good paper trail, leading all back to me. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, shit. You really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Damn. The man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never kills anyone. Oh, God. Going up, Brucey. You... <laughs> this ain't your stuff. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Mm. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Oh, shit. Capiche? Okay, okay, we'll do it your way. Just don't hurt anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's in charge. How cute. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm Hi. surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to catch an early flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. You're not helping my bluff. Is this some kind of joke? Yes. Do I look we're, funny to you? We're joking. Oh, God. Like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Oh, God. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. Mm. Regina will apologize. Won't you, Regina? Bruce, I... At that, I... Make it feel real. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause offense. Good. More. Make a bag. Oh, Please. God. Please. I'm so... Uh, so very sorry. <laughs> Um. Boy, do you got some guns on you. Oh. They're enough to make a girl go weak at the knees. Uh. Wanna show me what else you got under those clothes? Sure. We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? This is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? Oh, dear. You gotta learn to live in the moments. Hmm. Oh! Wow! Okay. Har Harley's freaking scary. It, boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. He's I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. Unpredictable and he told incredibly me all sorts dangerous. Of stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Alright. Knows way too much. Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. <laughs> I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Somehow, I was expecting more. Uh -huh. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Mm. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Anything 
else we can do here? I don't know if I just walk around a little bit. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. Do do do. do, do. Oh, he moved. He just like teleported over there. Alright, well I guess I guess we're opening the vault. Okay. <clears throat> Lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Hmm. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Hmm. Oh, of all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Oh, no, he's not going to like that at all. Or you. Hmm. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. Mm-hmm. It's not going anywhere unless I reconstruct Lucius's print. Okay. Because, you know, Bruce Wayne would totally have that kind of technology around. Uh, Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Oh. I'm sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Aww. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. All right, that's a start. All right, we got a piece. Oh. There we go. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. All right, got another segment. Desk here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Probably just gotta be something on the keyboard. Hmm. <clears throat> One more partial print should do it. He's not hurt too badly. Yeah. Key generator. Well, oh, let's, let's try this one. Printer panel. Nope. Not encouraging. Oh, I see he's pacing. Gotcha. There we go. Got it. Okay, this will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Hmm. Yeah, it definitely seems to be some role reversal here from the typical Joker Harley relationship that we know. Keep looking. So Harley is the brains, and Joker is the one who's kind of the, you know abused one, as it were. Even now, 
still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Oh, Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. Mm. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. Mm. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce... These people you're with... I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I oh, know no. you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. <laughs> I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? Hmm. I mean, she's gonna want to know about your uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John. Okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. <laughs> All the guards confided in me. Okay. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really Buddy. need is the phalanx key. Buddy, old Give pal. that, I can go out there <laughs> and, you know, make Harley happy. Yes. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. <laughs> Thank you. This... This makes things okay, good. so much better. Patching things up with Tiffany, everyone. finally. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough. I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. <laughs> Your boys did good, you know? Made Mama proud. Hmm. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Oh dear. Hurry it up. No, Alfred. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was unexpected. <laughs> Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was a masterstroke, Bruce. Still, that young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. So let's tell her the truth. Let's Maybe bring her in. Maybe you should just 
tell her. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. I regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. We've been honest so far. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, hmm. your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. Hmm. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. Oh, good. And replaced tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Very yeah, nice. Thank you. Good job, Alfred. As for Regina, I'm afraid your business client's cover story is going to cause problems. She seemed uh, to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Yeah. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. Mm. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, uh, I suppose I will. Hmm. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. <laughs> oh. Well, be careful and good luck. <laughs> I need it. Hmm. Those things will kill you. Consider quitting. <laughs> uh, you sound like my daughter. <laughs> Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save her. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. Mm. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Oh. Hello. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. Why are you, you telling me like I mean on the joke? Minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. No. Or what? You'll put him on timeout? <laughs> I've been leaning with you so far, but don't push me. <laughs> What does she have on you? You're gonna tell me at the arsenal? What the hell is it? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever Fucking have. Fucking A. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. Fucking A, Jim. This is why you're awesome. <laughs> Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. <clears throat> Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. 
Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me fall out. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. A vote of confidence. I'm touched, Waller. <laughs> Credit where credit's due. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open. Thanks, Conan. Conan. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals. Not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with him at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. You're in. Corner finger in 18th one. Well, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. All right. Here we go. Oh, uh, okay. The end, I guess. We we died. It's all over. I guess it's showing us the part where we're unconscious in real time. Um. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> yep and this is why I'm glad I have two PCs because the stream just continues unabated it doesn't care what happens on that other computer <sighs> well hopefully it won't put us back too far that's right Bruce Satos fan says Bruce got knocked out so hard it crashed the game that's right okay now, hopefully it will let us pick up more or less where we left off. Continue, episode two. All right, here we go.
They put us back here. Okay. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Alright. Here we go. <laughs> I just said that. Old five points. Old hey five points. Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. <laughs> We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Uh -huh. Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> what I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> Who the hell wants to do hard work? <laughs> I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't uh -huh. worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Hmm. Ah! Whoopsie. What the? <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? Hmm. <laughs> Shit. You need to uncover me. Don't screw this up. Mm. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! Mm. I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Oh, hold on. There's a there's a map. We need this one on, and we need this one on, and we need this one off. Oh, no. Turn on. Okay. We need this one off, and we need to turn this one on. What? The fuck? Oh, I see. It's being stupid. There. We're good. We we we've got it. What? I I did it. It matched the thing. Oh, maybe it needs to be the reverse of that. It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? Uh, okay. You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! Okay. I swear, if you okay, don't get that so electricity back we'll on do this the other way. I'll send you to a frozen turn hell. Turn that off. Turn that off. This one off. Turn this one off. First schematic matched. Oh, okay. Okay. Turn that on. Turn that off. Turn that off. And that one. There. Okay. Good. Well, at least 
we know that it works. <laughs> I must check on Nora. See how she is. Mm. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. <laughs> Fair enough. Everyone back to work. Still a lot to get done. Who put ha -ha you in nice. Somebody has to give the orders. So I see some animated series influence, which is makes me happy. <laughs> that was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Uh oh. Are we gonna do it? If I French kiss you, you're not gonna like bite my tongue off or something, are you? Listen, Bruce. <laughs> I just wanna clear the air a little. <clears throat> you distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. And, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Uh -huh. Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I haven't had it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. Hmm. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> but don't push your luck. Uh -huh. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. <laughs> you, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. I know that's what you wanted well, we'll to hear. That's why I said eventually. it. Eventually. <laughs> Using that EMP <clears throat> though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. That no neck ass hat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. Uh. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. <laughs> I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, it's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Hmm. I don't think Bane likes me. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but... Sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. 
He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. <laughs> I'm sorry about your father. Listen, I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Look, I lost my parents too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. But don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Uh -oh. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? Uh oh. You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Harley is impressed. Still friends? Oh, good. Yeah, still friends. To be honest, I'm <laughs> impressed you found that out. Just Sweet. don't bring it up again. <laughs> that was a good answer. Okay, good. Whew. That could have gone south very quickly. Buy Bane a beer. Go back to Harley. I feel safer with her. Let's look at the mirror. Spirit of unity? Hmm. Not really what I'm sensing from this group. from, I might have been in the animated series, what I most recently remember from is I read the, uh, I got that collected edition of the 70s comics of the Joker, the solo series of the Joker, and that was the name of his base of operations, was the Ha Ha Hacienda. <clears throat> he had a couple of bases in the course, over the course, of, I can't remember what the other one was called, but, uh, Uh, Hacienda was in most of it. Um, let's go talk to Mr. Freeze. Hello, Mr. Freeze. How are you? Look at. What would Harley need with an EMP? Uh, I not. can't risk tampering with it. Well, it knocks out electronics. He probably wants to knock out some electronics. Hello. I heard about your wife, and I... Whoa, shit. I was not expecting that. What are you that trying move. to pull? You'll answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. What you're doing? That kind of love, it's rare. My wife followed your goings-on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust than love. Oh, That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. <laughs> I respect that. Nice! I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. 
I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. Go talk to him. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Let's pop into John's house first. Hey, buddy! It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. <laughs> always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before and your office uh, making me look good. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad everything worked out. Did it ever? Handing that key over to Harley, giving her what she wanted. Pure ecstasy. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a big moment for me. <laughs> I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? It looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. That was intentional? John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. No, no, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. <laughs> then I guess we both got really lucky. Uh-huh. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Let's look at things. Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. <clears throat> I bought some for when I need to talk to him. Aha! Uh -huh. Scarier than anybody in Arkham. I'll just take one of those. <laughs> uh-huh. No comment. I'm just going to go back to starting position and then uh, look at other pictures. <laughs> she really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face. Hmm. How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. <laughs> What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh, man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Hmm. Well, I know him, you know. Maybe I could arrange for you to meet him and you guys could, like, hang out and be buddies. I think that's a good plan. I see no downside to it whatsoever. All right. Hey, Bane, want a beer? Want a beer, buddy? Buddy, buddy, beer, beer, Bane? Bane, beer? Want some Bane, beer, Bane? Bane, beer, Bane, buddy? Buddy, Bane? Bane, beer? Beer, Bane? Huh. I was just looking at all of your Bane juice. 
Gotta look at the poster. Oh, there we go. And now I see where Bane gets his fashion sense. <laughs> well, yeah. How's it going, Bane? You want a beer? Have a beer. I just thought you looked thirsty. Please, come. Perfect. Oh, shit! Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I'd bomb their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. The payback I want is with the agency. They wronged me, and now I want to make it right. I'm sure you understand. Riddler studied this Waller woman, profiled her. She is arrogant, presumptuous, and she won't see what we have planned coming. If you want to get back at the agency, we at least have that in common. In this line of work, Whew. one cannot be too careful. Okay. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust, so hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Bane! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Oh dear. Loyalty is all that we have. But... There can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are. Oh dear. That you are really willing to do all that you claim. Huh? Only one of you walks out of here. Oh God. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and <clears throat> bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over. Fine. I'll prove it. <laughs> What's going oh, okay. on? The job we've been getting ready for, it's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Uh. Not till everyone votes. Uh. What do you say, boys? Okay. Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Oh, God. Or out. Oh, God. Okay. The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. Damn. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. Can be trusted. Yeah. Bruce is strong and smart, and handsome, like super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. <laughs> Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? <laughs> we got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket Sweet. to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get <sighs> that package. Okay. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours. Let's go. Somebody grab that thing. It's important. Let's go hit him with the hide. Okay. So, Bane doesn't like me, but everybody else does, so that's okay. It was enough. It was enough. Basically, I, it's just, just because I didn't clock the guy with the pipe. But I didn't want a chance killing him. So. Yeah. 
Wayne, we are close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh huh. What? No. You no. are providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. Right. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track this signal. That's not Did suspicious at all. No. I've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Now we do this. Because nobody at all would have seen that at all, or suspected anything at all. It was very, very secretive. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> we have an obstruction ahead, both lanes, armored vehicles, service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wade, <clears throat> do it! Okay. What was that? What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried. All comms are down. Oh, shit. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp. Secure the vehicle. on the perimeter. Keep. Yeah, yeah. Didn't kill him. Freeze! Open the door. Everyone, stay He's not dead. That's order. the important thing. Now, no sudden moves and no talk. <clears throat> oh. Damn. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. <laughs> Back off! Or I'll shoot. No. No! 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 Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We are not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on him. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Then seize the cargo. Okay. Get out of here! God. Waller here. Let them have it, Wayne. What are you talking about? The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agent's Holy lives. Holy shit. <laughs> you can't be serious. You were supposed to be here. Fuck. No! That was my ride! Break out the artillery and disable their vehicles. Going it going to hell. I'm gonna play whack a mole with their heads. It's a warrior's death. Oh shit. Uh hey! Damn! Be careful not to get in my way. 
Secure the cargo. Meanwhile, what's Harley doing? Oh crap. Oh shit. Harley! Need to leave now! Fine. Forget you. Oh shit. You have gotta be. Fuck. Wow. That was brutal. You did well tonight, Wade. Better than that yammering harpy. <laughs> How could we leave her? Hmm. We need to get Harley. Now! Impossible. She's dead. Or in jail. So we break her out! And if she's dead? You better hope she's not. Oh boy. We, we have to help her. She'll be expecting us. She needs us. We'll get her back, John. I promise. Great. Let's go. We have to go now. Right now. We don't have time to waste on her. But. But. That's enough. Save your breath. Hmm. We have the cargo. Let's get this over with. You'll regret this, Bane. Hmm. Forget him. We have a job to do. This key is yours, no? Open the box. <clears throat> Be quick. Okay. Unlock. Oh. Oh shit, it's the Riddler! Riddler's body? It is sad to see a legend so, but there is no other way. At least now, we finally have everything we need. The fuck? Riddler will open the path to us once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any path for the right price. Oh shit. Oh no. Of course. Oh shit, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a crazy episode. Uh, you and 39.8% of players left Harley feeling angry. She liked how efficiently you retrieved the phalanx key. She was impressed that you managed to uncover information on her father. But because you fought with Bane instead of her, she feels slighted. Oh dear. You and 99.8% of players left Waller feeling content. I don't want her to feel content. <laughs> she was frustrated when you asked her to consider Gordon. She disapproved of you calling Gordon instead of her to help you. But because you agreed to work with her while undercover, your relationship with Waller is positive. Great. Yeah, but then she left me out in the cold. Fucking. Ah. You and 39.8% of players left John feeling sad. He was overjoyed when you pinky swore to never lie again. He was intrigued by the underhanded way you handled Willie. But because you let Harley get left behind, he is heartbroken. You and 0% of players left Alfred feeling content. Wow, I'm the only person who left Alfred feeling content. He approved of your decision to be honest with Tiffany. He was proud when you told him he always does the right thing. Your conversation in the parlor gave him a renewed sense of purpose. Okay, can you be quieter ending title music? I'm trying to read here. 
You had 81.1% of players left Gordon feeling worried. He was surprised you called him to help you, despite being on bad terms with each other. Now that he knows Waller has leverage on you, he's sorry he doubted you. Because you told him the truth, he is worried that Waller might expose your identity. Well, that's apparently good that he's worried. Oh, we're back in good with Tiffany. You and 81%, 81.7% of players left Tiffany feeling worried. She was surprised when you told her Lucius worked with Batman. She appreciated you letting her choose to trust you. You convinced her to trust you, but she is concerned for your safety. Okay. Did you get Tiffany to hand over the phalanx key? Wow. A lot of people didn't. That's interesting. Did you call Gordon or Waller? Most of us called Gordon. Did you pay Willie off or let it get resolved with violence? 16% of players resolved things peacefully. 15% took him down. 44% tried to calm down Willie. 23 took out Willie violently. Who did you follow in the convoy? 57... Oh! 57.8% actually followed Bane. Attempted to minimize casualties in the convoy raid by following Bane, undermining his rampage at every opportunity. You see, basically my thinking there was go with who's going to do the most potential damage and the most, the highest potential loss of life. I just had a feeling that, I mean, honestly, I think it's probably a pretty even split either way. So, anyway. Did you pinky swear with John? Yes. Almost all of us did. Okay, can we have quieter ending title music? Jesus, I'm trying to read here. You had 50, 51.1% of players convinced 15 to hand on. Hey, look, kids! Comics! Hey, Jesus, just calm down, music. You're so excitable. Alright. Oh, and so ends episode two. Very interesting. So I wonder if this will be, this might be part of the impetus that uh, pushes John over the edge to become the Joker we know and love. He's certainly not liking his teammates right now. Oh, I see. Uh, Stoutman says, I think getting her to give you the key requires telling her the truth at the funeral, which a lot of people don't do. That's true. Yeah, because even though it pissed her off at the time, later when we met her in the vault, she appreciated the fact that I had been telling her nothing but the truth the whole time. So, relationships are complex that way. Sometimes the truth hurts, but it is the best way. Okay. All right, those of you on YouTube, we will see you tomorrow for episode three of Batman, The Enemy Within. For those of you on Twitch, we'll see you in just a few minutes.